Yo, what is up YouTube? Trilog here. And today I have a very cool video about a web version executor for Roblox. So this basically means that you can now exploit in the web version, meaning no more shitty UWP or any Android emulators, none of that. So in order to do this, you're gonna go ahead and go right into the description and I'll have this site first link in the description. This is how you're going to get the executor. And once you're on the site, there's gonna be three tasks that you need to do. They're very easy. I'll show you how to do them really fast. Basically, you just click, click visit page, just come to the site. You don't really have to do anything. If you click once on the screen, so I'm just clicking and go back, it will unlock the content. So you can just move on to the next one. It's gonna, if you have an ad blocker, it might say this, but that's fine. Just move back and then press the next one and same thing and then we're going to wait a few seconds we're going to do it one more time just to make sure so you just click everything again <clears throat> all right there we go as you can see it finished accept notifications and click on add now if one doesn't finish just hit visit page again click a few times we're going to wait a couple seconds and then when we go back it should go ahead and finish it and if it doesn't again just do it again you don't have to download anything you don't have to do any of the actual tasks you just got to wait and as you can see and then you're gonna press unlock content. And once you unlock content, if this shows up, just press proceed. Actually, it's probably a pop-up, so just press it again. And there, then you'll be greeted with a download file. You're gonna download it to your desktop. Make sure you download it to your desktop. After you download it, you can go ahead and go to your desktop. Now you will be greeted with this like RAR file. I'm pretty sure it's called, yeah, a RAR file. Now, what you're gonna do is right click it. You're gonna press extract here. It's going to extract and then once it extracts you're going to be greeted with this file so as you can see here's the file it's called by gay and what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and open it and you're going to see something called i don't know what it's going to be called for you for me it's called robux are scam whatever has this black like image right and you're going to double click it it's all right guys once you open it, you will be greeted with this. Now you're gonna have a Bifront injector. We're not gonna worry about this until we're actually in the game. So do not worry about this. And we're gonna join this game here called Script Test. So we're gonna press join. And then you gotta find a game that has a tool. So we're gonna be using Prison Life because you do have tools. So we're gonna basically copy the place ID. We're gonna come over to the Script Test game. We're gonna go ahead and paste the ID here, press enter, press hop to game, simple as that. Now any game with a tool such as a gun, taser, anything can be used with this. So yeah, we're gonna join the guards. Ooh, team is full. Ooh, interesting. So the team of guards is actually full. So we're gonna just join prisoners and hopefully it'll still work. We just gotta grab a tool here. Okay guys, I actually managed to get on the guards. So we're gonna equip our gun here. And then we're gonna come over here to the rune and we're gonna press the monitor icon and you're gonna find Roblox and you're gonna press open. Now, once you're on Roblox, what you're gonna do is make sure your, your, your Windows virus stuff is off by the way. So we're gonna go and quickly allow this and then make sure you turn it off by manage settings. Otherwise it won't work because this does edit game files. So it's gonna be a false positive. Now, once that is off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this inject. So we're gonna press it. And then we're gonna wait a few seconds. All right. You might need to press inject again if it doesn't load up, but we're gonna wait a few seconds and it did load up for me. Now you're gonna be greeted with this executor box, right? And you might lose one of your tools, like I lost my taser, but that doesn't really matter. Um, now we have a certain amount of commands that you can run. I'll go ahead and link them in the description as well, but we're going to go ahead and link the infinite yield. So you guys can see that it actually works. So we're going to run this command here. And as you can see, we have infinite yield and this is the web client. We can do all the commands like no clip. As you can see, we can no clip through a wall very easily, just like this. We could go un no clip, uh, just like this. And now you shouldn't be able to go through walls, but you, uh, you still can, so it's probably broken, but that's all right. We can also fly. So as you can see, okay, now we can't go through walls, but yeah, we can fly, so you can do unfly. 
So just like that. Now there is another command that we can do here. Let me go ahead and pull it up for you guys. One second. All right, guys, my bad, I'm back. So the next command we're gonna do here is called dex. So it's very useful for script creators because it lets you go inside the files of the game. So we're gonna press execute. And as you can see, dex does load up and now we can view the workspace and we can view everything in the game. So that is very important. And we're gonna go ahead and exit out and we're gonna show you the last command here that we have. So we're gonna do the prison life command. So we're gonna do underscore G dot prison life. Again, I'll have all these commands in the text file in the description. And now once we're here, we're gonna press execute. And as you can see, we have these commands here. So we have kill guard, kill inmate, all these commands. So you can go ahead and find games or commands that you want. Um, I'm probably gonna do a loop kill criminals, I assume. So we're gonna go ahead and execute it. So you come down to the execution bar and loop kill. We'll do loop kill inmate. So loop, loop kill inmates. And then you're gonna basically just press enter and it's gonna loop kill all the inmates. Um, I'm not sure if it's working or not, but we'll just wait a few seconds and we're gonna actually come out here and see if it's working. I don't think it's working, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, that's one of the commands. We can also teleport. So you can see, let me find a good username. Crossfall right here. So we can do go to and then cross and then fall. And as you can see, it teleported me right to him. You saw that right before he got arrested. And we could do it arrest all. Now, some of these might not work. But that's okay because it doesn't matter if i could spell this would be so much better arrest all here we go and as you can see it puts us in this thing and we just arrest everyone so we just arrested him as you can see i think we're stuck in a car but that's okay but yeah it arrested him very easily and yeah so that guys so guys that is the executor for the web version now I'm gonna go ahead and have everything in the description. Like I said, if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out. Now, this is very important for us because this gets rid of the UWP, which is laggy and a lot of scripts don't work and this should work. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and sub because it helps me out a ton. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.